Okay, all right, boom, big shock. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hello, guys. It's Masani stuff, Funny Lin 2 anime here. And a few minutes ago, I uploaded a um, 4th of July video. It's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Um, but now it's time we finish this. Yeah? We finish. Um, <laughs> suckage are you? <laughs> I was <laughs> getting lost on words. Anyway, you're like, why are we finishing this? Well, I'll tell you why, viewers. I'll tell you why. Because it's the second manga that's being uploaded on the channel. Or if you really count the creepy pasta one, then it would be the third manga. But, let's start, shall we? Before we all get... Oh my word. Motion diode. <sighs> Nani? Oh! Oh, my back! My back, Frodo! No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Alright. But you all know the drill. Also, I'm making an anime manga called Shy Girl. Season 1 is about what a girl named Ashley Torrance goes through. If you're wondering what or who Ashley Torrance is, she's the villain of Season 1, etc. Onward to Ebola. No, I'm just kidding. She doesn't have Ebola. Don't get that in your head. Alright. Chapter 7. Doctor slash Chief Paulman researches about vampires. Because Paulman, Victor Paulman, or Paulman Victor, is a chief of police. And he's a doctor of the clinic. So basically, I could just say Chapter 7. Paulman researches about vampires. Anyways. We start at the clinic. The hell? Benny! Benny, wake up! Why is there blood everywhere? said Palm and Victor Jaryu as he stood up in terror. That's right. Dr. Palman Victor is a part of the Jaryu family, and that's a big hint to what the fuck is going on. Anyways, as he stood up in terror, as Benny got up with his head bleeding, he said, Bowman, sorry you, I know what they are. As of 1 o'clock p.m. last night, Sally was abducted by her real family, which were fucking vampires. She's the princess vampire named Everline Jaryu, said Benny as Paulman Victor Jaryu went to take Benny to his house. As they arrived... Paulman sat Benny down on his chair in the living room. As he went to his office, he searched up on his computer what are the vampires and he saw how to kill them with a holy water bullet and how they came to be. He saw Sakura Jaryu, a 14-year-old girl who was cursed by the devil itself, then onward. He stood up with shock and said, No, not Sakura. The hell, I have to kill Sakura? As of now, she is the queen vampire. Sakura Jaryu will die, said Pullman Jaryu as he smoked outside. The next day... Okay, you all remember Sammy... The one that turned, um, Sally into the, like, they bit her, basically. Yeah, so here it comes. Hey, Sammy, you're here. Hey, can I talk to you outside, please? And you too, Benny, said Paulman. Said Paulman, are you, as they went outside. The rest of the officers just saw Paulman shoot Sammy with a smile in her kneecaps. Benny jumped away two feet 
as the officers saw Paulman shoot out Sammy's kneecaps. Sammy was on the ground burning up. My friends, a damn vampire. And my sister is one of them too. My sister Sakura Jaryu is with her daughter Everline Jaryu, the princess of the vampires. Or as you all knew her as Sally. We must kill Sakura, the queen of the vampires, to end this calamity. Who the hell is with me? yelled Paulman as they all geared up. They were ready, but saw fallen to the ground. Benny had picked up the saw and threw it away. But Benny had saw Paulman slip away into darkness from the look in his eyes. 12, 11 a.m. Daru House. I smell a battle. Get ready, everyone, said the queen vampire Daru as everyone got ready with weapons. Let's kick some ass, everyone, said Princess Vampire Everline as she licked herself and then hissed. That's chapter 7 done. Chapter 8. War of Human and Vampires. Okay, men and girls, we're here. Benny, you got my back, right? Because I trust you. Said Paulman as, as the sight of loneliness and rage filled his eyes with a face of evil and rageful soul. Benny had a look of untrustworthy towards Paulman and more trust towards the rest of the force team. Yes, Paulman, I, I, I trust you. Let's go save Everline, yeah? And let's make her remember who... Her true self is known as Sally. Okay, said Benny as Paulman went inside the house with relief and with the rest of the squad. Meanwhile, in Jaryu House, the throne room, as Everline and the Queen Vampire sat on the throne together, Everline saw everyone bow to them. But as Everline saw everyone calm, she got out of her throne and got out her sword and saw one of her sisters named Jess. She was scared. But as Queen Jaryu looked at her, meaning Everline or Sally, anyways, looked at her, she said to kill Jess. You heard mom, right? What a shame, Jess. I guess this is goodbye after all. Huh. Petrified. You now just die, said Everline as Jess could not move. Everline bit into Jess's neck. However, Jess died but dropped to the ground. The blood from Jess was on Everline's white skin like white paint and black skirt, black boots, and black pants, but not on her red hair as her eyes went back to pink and red. Her red hair had turned white. She fell to the floor in pain as Queen Vampire told everyone to go to battle. She went to get Everline Jaryu as she went to a safe room with her self and her daughter. 12.06 p.m. Second floor Jaryu Vampire's house. Benny! Shoot! Shoot now! Gah! Screamed Paulman as he dropped his gun. As Benny shot the vampire off of Paulman. He grabs his gun. As 17 vampires died and 15 officers died. Benny saw Julie F. Richardson, a 12-year-old officer with a police badge, a yellow shirt, blue pants, gray shoes, and blue eyes and black hair. Julie was scared out of her mind as she went 
to the fourth floor to to the throne room with them. Meaning with Paul, Man, and Benny. Anyways, she saw a switch to open the door. But as they entered the throne room, Benny fell into a hole in the floor with a grinder of metal and chainsaws. As Benny got his foot stuck on the chainsaws, his body was sucked into the chains as he was crushed into blood. The only thing left of him was his left eyeball, which popped on the saw blade. Both Julie and Paulman fell on the ground in fear. Benny was met by his fate of death. Benny was dead. Ugh! Oh, oh my god! Benny, no! This can't be! Hey, Julie, pull yourself together, said Paulman as he stood up. A, as he stood up, a pink blast of air thrusted Paulman to the floor as Julie was thrusted onto the wall. Julie was knocked out. Hello, Paulman. Nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, nice to see you too, Sakura sister, said Paulman as Everline looked at Sakura and said, You're Sakura? I'll kill you for killing everyone I loved, Mom, said Everline in anger as she readied her sword. Chapter 8 done. Here comes the final chapter. Man, if you'll do the honors. It says here, next chapter, next page, because, well, I just didn't feel like writing on that page. Alright, this is the final chapter. Chapter 9, Queen Vampire Sakura versus Everline Princess Vampire. Fate upon both. Huh? You want to kill me? Then fine. Let's begin. Huh? Said Queen V Sakura, I mean Vampire Sakura, as she readied her sword. Both Sakura and Everline and Paulman heard Julie scream as she stood up. Her head faced the ceiling as her blue eyes turned black and yellow and her black hair was red. She was now the witch of hell. No! Ah! Ah! The power! My head! Ah! As Julie used the witch of hell, her skin turned pitch black. As she threw everyone out a window by using her arms by a thrust of air. As her purple stripes appeared from under her eyes. They all landed in a window into a lab. As all four of them landed, Julie's hair turned back to black. Her blue eyes were also black. And... Her normal white skin was back, and she passed out. The purple stripes were still under her eyes, on her face. But as she landed on her back, she couldn't move. She opened her eyes, as Julie was in control. She could not talk, to. So the fight resumed between Sakura and Everline. Also, I'll do a lore video of who is Julie. Julie F. Richardson. Now, let's resume this fight, Everline, said Sakura as Everline was holding her sword. As they fought with their swords, Everline sliced Sakura's chin, making Sakura catch Everline off guard by kicking her in the belly. As Everline looked above her, she saw Sakura as she slammed Everline to the floor. She picked her up by the neck. Gah! Oh, poor girl. I'm gonna send you to hell, said Sakura as Everline got herself free. And threw a acid bottle at Sakura's face, making her unable to fight for 17 seconds. 
but Everline did not know that. Take that, Sakura. Ha, how's she doing, Paulman? Julie, that is, said Everline, as Paulman said. She's fine. But as Julie sat up, she was able to move again and able to talk. Both Everline and Paulman were relieved. Everline, you okay? Uh, yes. You okay, Julie? Yes, I'm fine. As of now, I've aged from 12 to 16 years old. How can that be? How can I help if you want? I, I have a power called the Witch of Hell. These purple stripes under my eyes on my face is that I have her inside me. I can feel myself slipping away now, slowly than ever, said Julie as she saw Sakura behind Everline. But Everline stood up as she swung her sword at Sakura, but she missed after that. Sakura grabbed Everline's left arm and bit off Everline's index and middle finger, making Everline drop her sword. But then Sakura cut off Everline's right arm, making Everline fall to her knees in so much pain. As Everline looked up, Sakura sliced out her eyes, making her cry blood with a burning feeling of fire. Ouch! My arm! My eyes! Screamed Everline as Julie had a look of fear. As Paulman threw the sword to Everline, she felt around for the sword. But as Sakura turned to normal, she got her blue hair normal white skin, her green eyes, black shoes, a tan shirt, and blue pants as Sakura lost half of her soul power. Her power went away with it. But... Ta -ta 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 -ta. But as Everline felt for the sword, she grabbed it and stabbed Sakura in the chest. Sakura fell on the ground. Sakura was dead, but Paulman was holding Everline as she died. No, no, no. Hey, no. Oh, don't do this to me. Huh? No pause. No. no. Ah. 2 p.m. The lab. Paulman brought back Everline to the clinic, but Sally was not there anymore but from the failed project he wasn't down a road of darkness anymore so he shot her as julie watched he went home julie still had the witch of hell in her so she lost it she went to the police department and set it on fire she dumped a batch of oil on her from a gasoline tank. She went to a dark path. But when she. Set the oil. All over her in the ground. She had. Set herself on fire. Her skin and hair fell off. Along with her eyes. Jolie fell over dead. As Pullman heard on the news. That 16 year old Julie burnt down the police station along with burning herself death un to herself a death until bones remained oh god Julie no no but as of today no more vampires and curses are in my life now this town will just be normal now no one needs me said Pullman as he shot himself in the head with a pistol. He was dead on his living room floor. Chapter 9 slash Sakura Jaryu Season 1, 2, 3F and Season 4 done. Rated R for horror and gore 
in violence or death, a sinister disturbance and action. 2022 manga by John Pullman, my writer name. That's it. That is Sakura Jaryu, the manga. Now, I don't know if you guys want, but, but, I will probably be doing a lore video. So, I just want to thank all of you for watching that one hour first video. And I want to thank all of you for watching this, if you have, anyway. Anyways, this has been Sakura Jaryu, the manga read-along, in only two videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been... Masani stuff of funny lent to anime here. And remember, do not do deals that you can't undo. Don't do deals with things that will come and haunt you. Bye everyone!